Hey, what's up guys? Making a new vid today. Um, since I uh, posted the other vid, there's been several people reaching out and wanting to know if I still have any of the knives from my my collection that you guys knew I'd, I'd grab before. So I wanted to show you a couple of the mainstays in my collection and talk a little bit about each one of them. The, uh, the one on the left was my first blade show. You can go back to my channel and uh, see where I I brought home like seven I think I hit seven lottos that that trip was like unreal I think it was for 2014 um, it's a sheer Groff. this is a full custom with Tymascus uh, Tymascus um, hardware and I believe it's a 10 V steel I don't know if you can see that 10 V steel and it says one of nine um, you know, probably the, the, my most favorite knife to actually carry because it's super light. It's been um, carved out in the inside. It's got double row roller bearing, double row roller bearing system in it. Flips like every shore graph does. Um, so as far as like weight and everything and ease of carry, it's probably my probably my number one. And then you guys, some of you who have been with me for a bit. Know, know what this is. This is a Walter Randolph Typhon or Typhon, whatever, however you want to say it. Uh, it's got uh, zirconium scales on both sides, black Tymascus uh, bolsters, clip, and backspacer, and a damascus steel blade, zirconium pivot collar. Um, as far as quality knives, um, you, you know, like I say, if you've seen my videos before, Walter's my favorite. He is, you know, obviously Todd Rexford is a, is a machine and there's not much like him as far as perfection to knives. And there's some other ones too. These are just my personal favorites, but Walter, Walter's design and the way he does things to me are just, he's my favorite by far. So, uh, I actually, if any of you guys are on the USN, I went through a weird period of time with, with knife collecting and um, the markets really changed like a ton. I remember when I first got into it, you know, a maker would sell a good quality custom knife around 650 bucks, you know, maybe to 1200 max, you know, unless it was like crazy materials and stuff like that and it's just not like that anymore. Um, as the secondary market started to really be crazy. Uh, makers start to increase their prices which is understandable but what it did was it drove down secondary pricing and desire wasn't there quite as much so throughout collecting you know I'd buy pretty much anything that was out there if anything just to, to try it out and because the market was so good you could you could turn around and at least get your money back sometimes make a little bit of money on it but it was never really about that even though I have I mean I'm not gonna say I haven't sold some and made profit on them because I certainly have but a lot of my knives are sold, you know, by people reaching out. I mean, I can't tell you the amount of people that have reached out to buy the Shear Groff. I mean, just as much as two weeks ago. And um, and offering pretty good amounts of money. I paid $2,500 at the table to get this. And I've had $6,000 offers on it. Not anymore. I mean, the market's softer now. But uh, in the beginning, that's what they wanted to pay. But I loved it. I didn't want to get rid of it. And nowadays it's a little bit different. So, I mean, you know, my desire to purchase new knives is at a very low. And it's not because people aren't making stuff. Like if Todd Rexford had one that was, you know, at a, a decent price on it, I would certainly consider it because I think he's great. And obviously Walter's knives as well. But outside of that, I've had everything that I've really enjoyed and liked. And, and some I kept, some I still have. But for the most part, it was uh, it was more it was a lot about the chase. It was a lot about getting something that nobody else had. You know, one that was very difficult, like the Shure Groff. I mean, I didn't want to spend twenty five hundred dollars on a knife at a at a knife show. You know, you go to knife shows to get deals from what we all you know. Like you can get it direct from the maker, and the prices were better, and this, that, and the other, and you know, just chasing the opportunity to win something. And um, I didn't want to spend that much, but when I saw it, I was like, man, this thing's incredible, and I had no idea what it would be worth. And the same thing with, uh, I just wanted one of Walter's knives. I really didn't care what it was. The one I wanted, Blade, I, I traded, but 
Um, you can see the story on that um, on my channel too. If you go back a little bit further where I got this, I talk about it. But So the desire is just pretty much not completely gone. I mean, I, there's still some makers out there I really enjoy their work. You know, uh, JB Stout's one of my favorites. I still have some of his fixed blades. Um, I love my Rocksteads, believe it or not. Uh, in fact, it's in my pocket right now. So, carrying around my, my Rocksteads shin. Super easy to carry and just a great production knife. You know, and I've got some Benzas and Bodegas and um, some Andre Ben Heard and stuff. I mean, I still have some knives, but for the most part, that drive to the, the custom knife world just has fallen away from me. You know, partially because of my, my love for watches, which, you know, costs way more than knives do. Um, you know, and you save up money and in sales, you know, you have a good month and you're like, ah, I'm going to do something cool. So and I'll show you guys uh, at some other point, I'll post another video about um, another watch that I was able to pick up and I actually picked it up in Vegas while I was attending a knife show out there, the USN show. Happened to walk into a, a uh, dealership or a dealer there, authorized dealer actually, and um it was able to snag something so but anyway I just want to show you guys a couple of the ones that I still have um, that I still love I was gonna say earlier I mean I went through a weird time you know with knives and I really gotten into watches and I was willing to trade this one away which is crazy as it seems for a nice quality uh, watch depending on what it was and I was gonna be specific because I really love this this knife um, and I re it didn't happen, so some things happen for a reason, so I'm kind of glad I still have it. But anyway, guys, just wanted to post something up real quick, give you an idea of, the, of the, uh, the two that I still have in my collection that, you know, who knows if they'll always be here, but they are two of my favorites that I've ever owned. Um, so there you have it, uh, Shear Groff, I think it's an F95, I believe, seashell is what they call this pattern, and then the Walter Randolph Typhon, so... Both in awesome materials, very quality knives, and probably have them for a little bit longer. So anyway, guys, I appreciate it, and I will talk with you soon. Take care.